Hello everybody, we are live on the Lamley YouTube channel. I've had another day to recoup from my time off. I was low energy yesterday as we were opening up a bunch of Matchbox. Of course, I had to run to Target today to get a new Quip toothbrush because I broke my old one. And uh, I found two more uh, Matchbox 5 packs. So I've got another video I gotta do once we open up, once uh, we do this case. I gotta do that, so that's a video that's coming. I've got uh, this stuff I've got open from Wheel Collectors, this cool pop culture. I know some people have already featured that. People are finding it in stores. All good. I haven't even done the AK Showcase. I haven't even shown those models off. I've done the unboxings. And then I've got a bunch of store exclusives and uh, super treasure hunts to open. Remember, I had these factory sealed sets that Mattel sent me. And um, part of that was so I could open up some stuff. And I got some Target and some Zamax. And the Kroger exclusives I've got to open. And then I have a bunch of other stuff I'm going to open on the Lamley Live. Some mail calls that i got to do. So, tons of stuff. Mini GT, too. And um, so I just thought I'd come on because I, I, again, I'm just real busy. But I have this case, and I said I was going to open it. It's already, see, it's already cut open. And the reason is, is because you can see this is a Q case. And um, when I got back, I had to be down uh, in Arizona to deal with some family stuff. Um, I, this was waiting for me and I would wondered why it came from Mattel and I was like, that looks like a Q case. Maybe there's a reason they sent it. You know, I don't know if it was the Zamat case or something else. So I was like, I better cut it open just to see what's going on because I don't know. And I cut it open and it is a Q case. And I think here's my guess is I think Mattel wants to send me the B case and there was some mix up with the distribution. And so they sent me another Q case. So I've contacted them and we'll see, maybe they'll say like, Oh, I don't know why you got it, but I guarantee you they're not going to say, Oh, you know, return it, they're going to say donate it, which I will do. So we're going to open it. I'm going to take these models. I'm going to take it to the uh, to the children's hospital here um, once we're done. But why not do an unboxing? So this will be a little different because I've already cut it open. And if you know by the title, I already know. I haven't looked at the bottom part of it, but I have. I briefly looked at the top to kind of see if it was a Q case. And uh, we'll get to what I'm talking about here in a second. So we're going to look for errors. We're going to talk. We're just going to say hi. It's just a little time to catch up and enjoy the fam, right? That's what we're going to do as we go through this. The fam being you guys. I'm going to try and look at your comments as we go through these because there is nothing new here um, other than the Q case is hitting stores. So it can be a little reminder of what to look for. So Jeep Gladiator. The recolor Mazda RX-7, which we all or RX-3, I'm sorry, which we all know is going to be a super next year, and the '69 Dodge Charger 500. Does anyone know if there's ever was a super treasure hunt of the Shelby GT500? I don't think so. Maybe there was. I don't know. All right, 2010 Chevy Impala. There's the 2017 Pagani Wyber Roadster. If you guys are finding the P case, uh, you would find and you found this one. Well, I've got it right here. Um, the P case and it looked like this just a little bit more shiny then that would be the super treasure hunt but you can compare those two there's the muscle bound which is really nice but there you can look at that remember this is the factory sealed one that I got that was all crunched we're gonna open that one up as soon as I just gotta I'm gonna do that video where we open all of these up so I can prepare for the Lamley Awards and uh, but I haven't gotten to, I need to get uh, the Kroger's the Kroger exclusives I've got them I just have to go pick them up a um, friend of mine got them for me. I'm going to do that tomorrow. 57 Plymouth Fury. Um, 2010 Toyota Tundra. And the I Believe. Alien car of some sort. Let's, let's uh, should we see if, I mean, honestly, what I don't know, I know that this thing's cool, but I don't know if there's like a, we'll look for errors and things. I don't remember what the regular treasure hunt is. Here's the Custom 11 Camaro, Porsche 914 Safari, which is nice. 2019 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Kind of cool. And as you know, and as other people have noticed too, like they're going with that new, instead of the J-hook on the front, they're going with this kind of reinforced. And some of you have noticed that too. Do I know of anyone who actually collects unlicensed cars? Funny you should ask, VW Benito. We have a writer on LamleyGroup.com who does. And um, he's uh, his name is uh, Sam. He goes by, I think, 64 Wheels. He writes for LamleyGroup.com. And I actually asked him to, we're going to start doing the best of and top 10 list for 2020. 
And I did ask him to compile a list of his favorite unlicensed models of the year. So yeah, you'll get some coverage. All right, Lamborghini Centenario Roadster in red. There's two of those. They sandwich the 98 Honda Prelude in blue, which is just fantastic. Love, love, love that model. Lambo Centipede. Can I buy the Prelude? Yeah, at the store. You'll find it. It'll be there. Um, Roger Dodger. There's the 70 Dodge Charger again. Obviously, if it had a white card, it would be the uh, Hot Wheels ID and then the 52 Chevy in green. Aloha from the 808. My friend Jay, is, if 808 is Hawaii, I don't even know. I'm assuming that's the Aloha is implying. My friend Jay is there right now. Croc Rod. 2020 Jeep Gladiator once again and the Radical Racer. What is the uh, regular treasure hunt in this one? Viper, maybe? I think so. So cars are glad. Okay, I'm just getting some. All right. Grand Cross Muscle Bound 86 Monte Carlo in white. You guys digging that muscle band? You guys, I know that's unlicensed. Um, and it's not new, so it wouldn't go on the new best new light unlicensed models, but I think it's one of the best unlicensed models of the year, in my opinion. But I ain't the expert, right? Okay, Croc Rod, there's the Bentley. Some of you are finding it. Some of you are really liking it. Obviously, I've made I've made my case as to why I don't like it. This one's got a real heavy paint on the front. I like the casting a lot. I'm just not too fond of the paint job on it. But who cares? Muscle Mania. Again, there's the treasure hunt, right? Dodge Viper RT10. It's got it there on the top. That's cool. I mean, I guess. And the Flintstones deal. Okay, guys, you ready? You ready? When was the last time I've done this in an unboxing? It's been a while. Can't remember the last time. I've got to think it through. Oh, ha, 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 2017 Pagani Wire Roadster. That's the PK Super, but that ain't a Super. We're worried about this one. That is the 64 Chevy Chevelle SS Super Treasure Hunt. There's the TH right there on the back. It's got that to metallic Urban Outlaw look to it. Really nice real riders. I think a lot of people might be digging those real riders because it might take them off. I don't know if people take them off a of Super, but I love that red-lipped uh, Trans Am style wheel on that one. That's a really, really cool Super. So I'm going to put this one to the side because um, I have the one I pulled from the factory sealed, and I'm going to open that one. But it's always fun to have the Supers that I pulled. And, uh, yeah, very, very cool. All right, and there's the aisle driver. I'll put the Super over here. So nice. It's I, I'm not – the Urban Outlaw Deco is fine. Um, there's some elements of the deck that I don't like. I like the casting a ton. I like the kind of square classic style of that casting. And I definitely like the wheels deco. I'm not really into, but, uh, it's a nice, it's a nice looking car. Nice looking super for sure. And get ready guys within the next few days. I've always, I've been hinting at it. The Lamley awards are, I've just got to open these up and the Lamley awards are ready to go starting with best and worst super. So start thinking that through. Um, I believe 10 pro stock Camaro and the Electra silhouette. Um, there will be, we can talk about the Lamley Awards. We're going to have best and worst super. We're going to have best and most disappointing Hot Wheels license new model. Um, some real good ones there, preludes in there, some others. We're going to have best, I don't think we'll do worst, but best premium new model with the exclusion of RLC because I'm going to wait on RLC until that year done is finished. That's in February. So we're going to talk car culture, fast and furious, team transport, anything that was a new casting. And then um, we'll do some Matchbox. And then what we'll do, I've got all the writers compiling their top 10 lists, and that will include Greenlight and M2 and all these other brands. And then I'll be to Tomic Limited Adventure. It's going to be really fun. So I'm going to have you guys vote on Hot Wheels and Matchbox. But then we're going to do top 10 lists, which will be fun. And I'm sure you'll agree or not agree on a lot of them. All right. Let's keep going. Really, really fun to do the Lamley Awards. Um, I really enjoy it. It's always fun. Am I excited for the upcoming Hot Wheels ID test the Cybertruck? Well, Jet, I've been excited for the Hot Wheels ID Cybertruck for about a year and a half. 
when I found out about it. Um, all right, 2024 Mustang Shelby GT500, Velocir Racer, and the Big Air Bel Air. I'm a good secret keeper, guys. Saw some stuff just the other day that one day you guys will see on probably T-Hunted and go, did you know there was going to be? And I'll just go, no, I didn't. And I'll just wink. And I'm am I flexing on that? I am, but I can't uh, I can't share anything. I'm I signed something that says I can't, so I see it. I can put my two cents on it. It's really fun. It's really cool. It's good to know. But um, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming. That's all I can say. Night Dragon, El Viento, and the Plymouth Fury. We're looking for anything interesting. Errors. We found the Super Treasure Hunt. So now it's just what else can we pull from here? Electro Silhouette. 2019 Kia Stinger. The re recolor is really cool. So is the Eric Stein rod. Recolor is awesome. Oh, behave. I am behaving. Is my energy level better than it was yesterday? I hope so. Eric Stein rod again. 99 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Great casting. Runway Rescue. That is cool. Another Mustang, you guys have all figured out that this is Super Treasure Hunt. And if you watch my live feeds, I actually hinted it at hinted that to you before it linked on T-Hunt. So I'll give you guys little hints occasionally. Custom 11 Camaro on the 99 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Like, um, I'll tell you this. There's going to be a Porsche Super in 2021, but I won't tell you which casting it's going to be. Um, unless it's been leaked already. Maybe I don't know because I've been out of the loop. 68 Shelby GT500. And the Corvette C7 Z06. Thank you, Speed Trap, for uh, the well wishes. Family is doing well. It was not a particularly, well, I'll say this. We, we knew it was coming, and it finally did, and it happened as peaceful as possible. And so from that perspective, everything went really well. It's never, a, it's never an easy time to lose a family member, but um, considering the circumstances, it went as well as it could. All right. But thank you. Okay. 64 Nova Wagon once again. Gas or no, not once again, right? It's the first time we've seen that. At least in this case, 69 Dodge Charger 500 and the Cruise Bruiser. Is there an initial D set coming? Well, I think some stuff's leaked, right? 2018 Bentley Continental once again. Ooh, that's, this one is, at least from a color perspective, look how nice that one looks. I don't know if you can see it like I can. I don't know if the camera really picks it up, but that's a really, really hefty, rich green on that. So that looks pretty good. It's a little less faded. 69 Camaro and then the uh, 70 Chevelle SS again, once again. From the Super Treasure Hunt, or not Super, from the Fast and Furious set, right? Nissan Silvia Recolor in blue. Jonathan, this will be my first Lamley Award, so I'm excited. Good! It's all about voting. you got to vote. That's what you got to do. Um, 2019 Audi R8 Spider and Runway Rescue. We're all used to voting this year, right? So, no big deal. Mad Props, Cruise Bruiser, and the Toyota 2000 GT. Like that one. Don't think we're going to find the Air or anything interesting, even though we found the Super, so we're cool with that. And then finally, unless there's something here, and I don't think there is, Custom Auto once again, Radical Racer, and the hall o -Gram. There we go. 2020. Doesn't ever seem to end, does it? Keep getting cases. I got Lamley Awards to do. But that I would not have done that had I not found the Super, because it's always fun to pull a Super. There it is right there. So Functional Histories is asking. Lamley, can I send you some customs? Ryan, send me pictures. I... I have no room and I would love to see them. And I would think that's something I could, sh I would love to see pictures of customs, but uh, I ask that people not send them because um, I can't give them the proper attention. They'd go into this deep abyss of other stuff I have to do. And that's not fair to you and your work. Um, but I'd love to see them. I'd love to see pictures. That's for sure. All right, guys, I'll, I'll, um, we're 15 minutes in for a, for like the 74th Q case unboxing I've done. I'm happy to chat with you guys for a little bit. Um, those of you who just want to see the unboxing, we're done. Can't wait for the Lambs. I'm glad you guys are excited about the Lamley Awards. Raph Songs, let me guess. Porsche 993 GT2. Hasn't that already been a, a super treasure hunt? Doesn't mean it couldn't be again, though. 
Ryan, you already say that like 30 times already. Please. Okay. You guys are blah, 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 blah. I'm just reasoning. Nice. Ron says, nice supper. I'm assuming you meant super, but dinner was good. My daughter made it and we had baked potatoes and broccoli and salad. It was delicious. Isn't the Nissan 300ZX supposed to be in this Q case? No, it's in the A case. Can I post peg hunting vids because you notice I find stories, you find a lot of soups. Okay, so I had my lucky day, right, where I found five supers, and I filmed a little bit just, I, I, don't, I don't hunt that much in stores, to be honest, and um, so, see, Daniel saw a CK, so I saw that, um, when is my sale, and when I can do it, the, uh, we already did the tarmac works. Um, I'm updating my store to put some new product in probably, I don't know, hopefully within the next few weeks, but I don't know if that's going to happen because there's so much to do. Um, what else am I reading? So I don't go into stores assuming I don't go usually at times where there's supers when I'm rural sometimes, but I don't go in with the intention of, of finding anything. Sometimes it's just curious and I'll look and I'll take a picture of what I find or I'll do a quick little video snippet and then I'll put it on like reels on Instagram or something like that. I just feel like that's, uh, I'll, uh, I guess that's just the, you know, the way to do it. So you'll see. So I don't think I'll ever do any in-store videos unless there's something really, really interesting. Like I come in and they have like five unopened cases. Maybe I'll do something like that. But I mean, when has that ever happened? So, um, hardly ever. You've been finding 300 ZX in the Q case. Well, not in these. So Is Hot Wheels going to make a Mercedes-Benz X-Class or a Bentley Bentega. I have no idea. That I don't know. The most exciting five pack in my opinion is worth three hundred six because me and my dad when I was little sorry, I'm comments coming in too quick. Um do you know for matchbox is the Mazda three? The Mazda three is coming. Um is the AMC Rebel Return Hot Wheels Mail? No idea. How was my day? It was good. It was good. Do you guys want to see me open these? Or not today, but do you guys want to see a video on these or like Lamley Live it? I can do that. I've got so much to do. Um, what happened to the Matchbox Subaru SVX? Uh, I just think they're working on the next version. They only did the white one a year ago. Critical Cars, do, live, do it live. I'm excited for the Civic EK9 hatchbacks type R Hot Wheels. Yes, the one that um, Dream Team unveiled today. Yeah. Can I show the Matchbox 5 packs closer? Yeah. I also noticed on my FedEx app, look at that, they have the logos on here. That's new. Um, that. Uh, that's cool. I noticed on my FedEx app that I have three or four things from Matchbox coming again. So I don't know if that's new, if I'll get anything new for 2021, but I'm hoping so. And obviously I'll do unboxings if I do. So that's cool to see. Brad, can you say hi to my son? Hello, Brad's son. How do I feel about the inclusion of fantasy castings in the Boulevard series? I think that's absolutely appropriate because they're usually iconic matchbot or I'm sorry, Hot Wheels models and and it's like the theme of Boulevard is cars you would see in like a Hot Wheels world. So like designers favorite cars, iconic cars and um iconic Hot Wheels cars. So the Twin Mill, Bone Shaker, that kind of stuff all makes perfect sense. Cool combi. And then mix that in with like the A86, like that's a designer's favorite or one of the designer's favorites, that kind of stuff. I think it's great. Love it. Um, did Hot Wheels preview the 2020 new models? Not all of them, but they will soon. Have I seen the new Corvette 5 pack? Yes. Is Hot Wheels going to do a 2021 line preview for the end of 2020? Um, I don't know. Um, I've hinted at this. I got to get it scheduled. I'm doing an RLC 2021 preview with Brendan Vitusky, and 
the problem with doing a 2021 uh, preview with like the there's probably ways to do it, but because no one's in office and they only have like their in-house, you know, computer images and everyone's working from home at Mattel, it's kind of hard to compile something that would work as a presentation. Maybe they're working on something that they'll do separately. If I can do an interview and get some previews with like Jimmy and stuff, I will totally do it. Um, I'm working on that, but RLC preview is definitely coming. That is for sure. So you'll see what's coming there. Maybe I'll figure out something with premium. I got to talk to Jimmy and I'll do it. And right now they're, uh, they're in a really, really busy time. So I'll let them do that. Um, when will the Matchbox Wagon 5 pack be out? I don't know, but 2021 is a good guess. Ballistic Turtle, I love your show, dude. Thank you. Thank you. When is the Lamb Award series coming out? They'll come out with each video. So, like I said, I've got to A, open the rest of the supers I need to open. Once I do that, then I can, I got to take pictures for the blog and I got to um, do the video. I'll present the video, show you all the supers and when the video goes up and it, and it goes onto the blog, the pictures, the polls will be active. And so you will vote then. And then when I do the best licensed new model and most disappointing, those polls will be active. As soon as the video goes up, the polls are active. So you can follow the link and, um, and then go and, and vote. And like I said, I'm trying to simplify it with the, with the uh, subjects this year. So that should be pretty good. I, I'm really excited for them. And I'm excited because I, I can't predict the winners. I mean, I know that there's some models, premium models that have been really popular. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of attention given to, um, you know, on the Matchbox side, the Bugatti Devo, but there's the Civic, there's the Nissan Hardbody, the D21, some really cool stuff. Can I sh share a link to your store? Lamleystore.com. There's nothing up there right now. We sold out of the Tarmac Works since I have some lean pins that sold out. Um, but I am working on some things, some Lamley exclusive stuff. And, um, and by the way, guys, I got to tell you, the Tarmac three car set that we're doing we've already sold the first one um that we're doing with lean customs it's so cool you guys are gonna love it i can't wait to show you the other two models and kind of what we have planned for it too um it was 2020 one of the best years for hot wheels yes i believe it was did i just miss the live yes you did but we're still live we're still live did you go back and watch the unboxing and the super i pulled have I seen the Matchbox DLM Deco 5-pack? Yes. I have. The best Hot Wheels videos. Well, thank you. There's a lot of great ones out there. I'm glad that you guys like mine. You guys saw my little sneak peek yesterday of the RLC stuff I'm going to be showing soon. Do I have any good tips for starting collections? Collecting, just one. Just collect what you like. If you like it and you want to put it in your collection, yes. But the other thing is don't ever think you need everything. Put limits. Once it starts happening, put limits on what you collect because before you know it, it's way out of control. And not only from a space perspective, but you get too obsessed and it starts occupying your brain too much and it can hurt your relationships. If, if your spouse is annoyed, if you have a spouse and she's annoyed, he or she is annoyed with... This pay attention to that. Don't ever let it get in the way. I'll be honest with you guys. There was a point when I started collecting in the mid two thousands that I got a little too into it, and it didn't was not a good thing from a relationship. And I th said, "How can I turn this into something more productive?" And over time, I started Lamley, and now it's something that I do on the side from my normal life, and I usually do it when I can, and I have time reserved for it, and it brings in a little bit of money. And it's been, it's kind of scratched that itch to like collaborate with people and share things with you. So now I've turned it into something a little more productive. If I ever give up this Lamley thing, I will probably streamline my collection down to something very, just like maybe Tomic Limited Vintage and maybe Hot Wheels Premium and a few Matchbox, but that's it. So it's always, always set limits and don't let it get in the way, get in the way of real life is my advice. You get Matchbox and Hot Wheels through A&J Toys. Yes, you can. Could you and 3D Bot Maker do a collaboration talking about Hot Wheels? You know, that's a cool idea. I love their videos. Um, I don't know the guys over there. Um, but one time, one of these days, maybe we'll do something. If they're game, I'm game. We just have to figure out something interesting to do. 
So still like majorette cars. I do. And I'm still waiting to do. I got to do that Porsche feature that I've been planning on doing. It's just that everything gets pushed back. Any idea why Mattel chooses to use Walmart for, ex <laughs> for exclusives? Uh, wish they could use Target more. I agree with you. You've seen some, you know, you've got the red editions. You've got some other exclusive lines like the retro lines with Target. But man, Walmart rules everything. R Walmart wants it. Mattel will do it. I promise you that. So um, Walmart and just their, their share, their power. You know, you want to keep Walmart happy. So if you're in the retail world, Walmart is incredibly important. What is your favorite Hot Wheels of this case of the Q case? Um, I don't remember what else is that. I like the Prelude. I can't remember all the other models that were introduced, RX-3, but I can't remember if they were introduced in the P case or the Q case. Are we ever going to see ID Wave 2 in stores? Um, have you guys noticed that some of the Hot Wheels ID has shown up in Dollar Trees um, for a buck? I think... I think it's probably safe to say ID has a really exciting future from what I've heard. Well, I actually know some of the things they're doing. They're going to be doing some stuff that might be a little different. And, um, but when you see that they're selling for a dollar and dollar tree, you know that there's probably some sort of reset coming. So, um, I'll say that. All right. We're at 26 minutes. So I'm going to shut this down, but it was fun to chat with you guys. Gives me a little bit more time when I do see the unboxing. Target is pretty bad in my area for diecast. Target's great. I like I said, I had to go in there and get a new toothbrush today, and they had plenty of great stuff. Um, I'm just uh, I like Target. Uh, I have a Dollar Tree near me has a restocked in months. Prepare for it to be stocked. Um, nitrous diecast. Thank you. you're welcome, nitrous. Target is really bad all around me. Have a good one, Lamley. Bye. See you, Greg. All right, guys. Um, I am going to head out. Gasser Legend Sewer on the factory seal. I don't think it is, but we'll find out. Do I do any giveaways? Not really. Not occasionally. I do if it makes sense, but don't count on them. Um, do I have any idea why Zamax are showing it to Kroger's? I think that's just probably a mix-up of some sort. So, all right, guys. I'm gonna head on out. Look for more stuff. Like I said, Lamley Words, be ready. Start thinking. It's going to happen. And I've got other features to do. So I'm going to kind of reactivate Lamley Live here in a second, too, and uh, get some stuff, some mail calls from other brands on there. Um, so much coming. So much coming. Let's just hope I can get it all done. All right, guys. I am out of here. It's nice seeing you tonight. Bye.